Hi, this is Nick Haraz of Creative 111 here with Boris Effects to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with Continuum's VR units inside of DaVinci Resolve. The immersive 360 VR video market continues to grow with more outlets for viewing spherical video and also affordable new 360 cameras and 180 coming to market regularly. 360 video content is found on mainstream portals, YouTube, Facebook, The New York Times, and CNN to name a few. And this runs the gamut from narrative entertainment, broadcast journalism, all the way to live sporting events, and much, much more. Editing and finishing 360 video requires specialized tools to process spherical video formats. While companies such as Adobe, Final Cut Pro 10, as well as Resolve have tools for general 360 video editing, there are currently no cross host tools to enable sharing between editing, effects, and the color correction finishing stages. Inside of Resolve, we're gonna take a look at two filters inside the VR units package, and that is gonna be VR 360 Reorients, as well as VR Insert. Let's hop inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I have a timeline in front of me containing two 360 spherical clips. Now with the advent of Fusion, it should be noted that if you head into Fusion and make a right click, there are some tools that allow you to work with VR footage. However, nothing that is cross-platform accessible. Boris FX offers a solution that allows you to not only view and reorient your 360 spherical footage, but insert graphics as well. Right here, I have a meditation clip in front of me. What I'd like to do is view this on a sphere. So what I'm gonna do inside my edit workspace is head to my effects library. And under my effects library, I'm gonna take a look at my open effects. And here, I'm gonna do a search for VR to locate the five Boris Continuum filters that are part of the, the Continuum VR unit. I'm gonna apply the BCC VR reorient to the meditation clip and open up my inspector. If I go to the open effects tab, I have a variety of controls. Some of those are source control, meaning what type of input am I working with? Not only does it support monoscopic, but various stereoscopic flavors, as well as different field of views for both 360 degree footage and the new popular 180 degree camera format that's now out in the market. If I go to the reorient section of this plugin, Notice that I can change what I would like my viewer to look at when they first put on a head mounted display or watch this on a mobile device. If I play with the pan, I'm changing now that I'd like to be the point of focus to the sunrise off in the distance. I can easily reset this effect, bring this back to square one. And I also have a variety of view options directly from my, my edit workspace. If I choose to preview my 360 footage, Notice that I have some controls for viewing my footage left and right. I'll just undo that, as well as previewing my footage from the top to the bottom of the shot. And this just allows for a great workflow, and I can also mimic various field of views depending on what someone's head mounted display field of view is set to. I'm gonna choose this back to a full preview. And some of my favorite controls are the overlays down here. I can choose a picture in picture mode. So here I, on the top left hand corner, I have a picture of my echo rectangular clip. However, if I change my view mode to preview, I can preview the clip as though if someone is watching this in a head mounted display or on social media network, as well as see the overall view of my footage. On top of this, I can choose to show various overlay guides. Let me turn this off preview to full, as well as overlay faces to give these different colors. Particularly paying attention to the front when you cut to a shot where you want someone to look is gonna be in the front view and a little bit of the left and the right. I'll choose to turn off these faces. You can see this is, provides a great way of being able to preview footage in our edit workspace. Let me remove this BCC VR reorient effect from this clip. The other great thing that we can do is add graphics or even flat footage into our 360 VR scene. I'm gonna to head to the color workspace for this. And inside my project right now, what I have is an actual flat 4K piece of footage. I'm gonna just drag this into my node area and this is gonna be applied as a mat. I'm gonna apply the BCC VR insert effect to my echo rectangular clip. You can see here that it's waiting for an image source. In the image source I'm gonna give it is this flat footage. And in order to do that, I need to right click and add an OFX import referring to the OFX filter. I will now attach using the green square, the flat footage mat 
to the new OFX input. And you'll notice now that my flat footage now has a little bit of warping to it so that it's now part of my 360 scene. In order to control where this shows up, I'm going to head down to the insert area. I'm going to choose to play with the insert latitude as well as the longitude to position this where I would like to have it in the scene. I'm just going to reset those two values. One of my favorite parts of this effect is not only your ability to position this and orient this in the scene, but also to make sure that the quality of this, the image or graphic that you're using is set to best. Also repeat the image on multiple sides of your sphere. As in we can never determine where someone is gonna look in a head mounted display or on social media. So we can easily set this up to show this flat image on various facets of the sphere or even on four sides. If I wanted to, I could also put this on all sides, having in the top bottom and the different faces, set this up to be simpler back to the front and back. I could go back up here to the insert latitude and set this up appropriately, as well as the longitude to pos position this where I would like the image to be. Now, the best part about this is this isn't meant to just to be used on monoscopic footage. If we take a look at the source area, keep in mind that we can choose a stereoscopic image, as well as make sure that we also insert this on either 360 degrees or 180 degree footage. And those are some amazing 360 filters available from Boris Effects. You can check them out on all social media channels. I'm Nick Karaz. Thanks so much for watching.